All right, in just a few hours, the beginning of a huge change to an iconic Seattle landmark. And happening today, groundbreaking on a major expansion of Pike Place Market. Come of course, Theron Don is live at Pike Place with a look at what we'll see starting today and then, of course, what it'll look like in the future. Yeah, huge changes. Take a look uh, behind me from our vantage point. You can see exactly where that huge addition will be going. Now, that patch of dirt right there is going to be the scene of the groundbreaking today. And above is where the new construction will connect to the current market. This is all part of a $73 million project that's going to add 300 parking spaces, 40 units of low-income housing for seniors, and most noticeably, 12,000 square feet of new shops and artists. From right here, when the project is done in 18 months, you'll go out through two large double doors out onto a huge public plaza that will provide expansive views of the sound, uh, West Seattle. Now, some current shop owners here worry the new addition might change the feel of this historic market, but the Preservation Board promises nothing about the current market is going to change. All the things you love will still be here. Now, the groundbreaking again today at 1 o'clock. You're back out here looking at a live picture of where that's going to take place. There's also going to be a parade leading up to it. You're invited to actually be part of that parade. Just meet at that big Pike Place Market sign on Pike at 1220. But a major change here. Again, a huge landmark, a major draw for tourists in our area, and hopefully they can draw even more tourists. I know we have some time, but I'm still excited for when it'll all be finished. We'll check back with that. Two hours from now, the beginning of a huge change to an iconic Seattle landmark. It is groundbreaking day to launch a major expansion of Pike Place Market. Come up for Theron Zond reports from the market with what you'll see starting today. Just behind me is where the groundbreaking is going to take place later on today. And up above is where you can see the new construction is going to connect to the current market. This is all part of a $73 million project. It's going to add 300 parking spaces, 40 units of low-income housing for seniors, and most noticeably, 12,000 feet of new shops and artists. From right here, when the project is done in 18 months, you'll go out through two large double doors out onto a huge public plaza that will provide expansive views of the sound, uh, West Seattle. Some current shop owners here worry that the new addition will kind of change the feel of the historic market, but the Preservation Board promises nothing about the current market is going to change. Again, the groundbreaking today at 1 o'clock is also going to be a parade leading up to it. You're invited to be part of that parade. Just meet at the big Pike Place Market sign at Pike on uh, about 1220 today. Reporting in Seattle, Theron Zahn, Como 4 News. Well, there was a lot of celebrating at Seattle's Pike Place Market today to launch the historic landmark's major expansion project. Como 4's Elisa Jaffe is live from the market with details. This is exciting, Elisa. Eric, it really is exciting, and it is a mess right now, and midsummer it's going to be noisy and it's going to be disruptive, but once the market starts winding its way down to the waterfront, friends of the market, supporters of the market, some of them who've been supporting this since Nixon was president, say it's going to be well worth it. The Pike Place Market was formally established in 1907 when Mayor Charles Case invited local farmers to bring their wagons to town and peddle their wares. Pike Place Market has come a long way since wagons lined its cobblestones, but it's been fighting 40 years for this day. A parade past the fruit and flower stands helped launch the $73 million expansion project that will connect the market to the future waterfront. Why'd it take so long? It's complex, steep terrain. There's a train tunnel underneath and money. Parking problems may have actually bumped up construction. Park anywhere in Seattle is terrible. This is crazy. When the viaduct comes down, the waterfront will need parking. The market expansion offers that. At the base, 300 parking spaces. It's much needed parking. We're actually receiving mitigation dollars from the state for that portion. And we have 12,000 square feet of retail. 40 units of low-income senior housing. There will be a covered plaza with table space for nearly 50 more farmers, artists, and crafters. We ended up going south 99 with cars going by them at 50 miles an hour just to line up the Great Wheel, Mount Rainier, and both stadiums. After 14 years in the market, vendor Chris Fiorito wonders how the huge change will affect sales. Long run is going to be amazing aesthetically. I don't know how it will be for us because more people will be shopping down at the waterfront less people here at the market. But market supporters say in 18 months when the work is done, tourists will come. As far as the tourists, I think it'll make them, more of them will come and they'll enjoy it more, they'll love it, and uh, it's just, it's just, it's wonderful. 
So to help you understand the layout up there where the bridge is, that's where you're going to have the plaza and that's where a lot of the farmer stalls are going to be. It's going to expand out there. This level you'll have a community center and you'll have a lot of the retail that will wind down. You'll have a cannery. They've already leased the space. A brewery that's going to be an anchor. There is a chocolatier comer coming in and a lot of different shops that are going to be coming in. So this is going to be very exciting, but not till 2017. In Seattle, Elisa Jaffe, Come Up For News. It may have taken four decades of planning and pushing, but there was groundbreaking and celebrating today at Seattle's Pike Place Market. Come Up Elisa Jaffe gives us a look at big changes for the local landmark. The Pike Place Market was formally established in 1907 when Mayor Charles Case invited local farmers to bring their wagons to town and peddle their wares. Pike Place Market has come a long way since wagons lined its cobblestones, but it's been fighting 40 years for this day. A parade past the fruit and flower stands helped launch the $73 million expansion project that will connect the market to the future waterfront. Why'd it take so long? It's complex, steep terrain. There's a train tunnel underneath and money. Parking problems may have actually bumped up construction. Park anywhere in Seattle is terrible. This is crazy. When the viaduct comes down, the waterfront will need parking. The market expansion offers that. At the base, 300 parking spaces. It's much needed parking. We're actually receiving mitigation dollars from the state for that portion. And we have 12,000 square feet of retail. 40 units of low-income senior housing. There will be a covered plaza with table space for nearly 50 more farmers, artists, and crafters. He ended up going south 99 with cars going by him at 50 miles an hour just to line up the Great Wheel, Mount Rainier, and both stadiums. After 14 years in the market, vendor Chris Fiorito wonders how the huge change will affect sales. The long run is going to be amazing aesthetically. I don't know how it will be for us because more people will be shopping down at the waterfront less people here at the market. But market supporters say in 18 months when the work is done, tourists will come. As far as the tourists, I think it'll make them, more of them will come and they'll enjoy it more, they'll love it, and uh, it's, just, it's just, it's wonderful. In Seattle, Elisa Jaffe, Como 4 News. Thanks, Mike. Seattle is celebrating a big milestone in the Pipe Place Market Expansion Project. A groundbreaking was held downtown today at the landmark attraction. The expansion will connect the market to the future waterfront. There are plans to add 300 parking spaces, low-income senior housing, and more room for vendors. The project is expected to be completed by late 2016.